Hello and welcome to the Aero-V engine assembly video series. I'm Joe Norris at Sonics Aircraft LLC. In this series of video segments, we are going to walk through the assembly of an Aero-V engine. We will be following the sequence called out in the Aero-V assembly manual. The manuals get updated much more often than the video series. So if there is a case where the manual and the video series disagree, your manual that came with your engine is the guide for you to follow. But in general, all of the steps that we have in the manual will be shown in the video series. We hope you enjoy the video series. We hope you enjoy putting together your Aero-V engine. And we look forward to seeing your airplane flying. The steps that we're going to illustrate in the rest of these segments from here on out would typically be performed after the engine is mounted on the airframe. But we're going to use our display engine here uh, for clarity. First thing we're going to do is we're going to test fit and mount our alternator, which goes right in this area on the engine here. This is the actual permanent magnet ring that spins with the flywheel that's going to work with our stator, which is right here. Our stator is uh, a bunch of coils in here that's actually going to produce the electrical uh, impulses. Uh, the stator is potted with this uh, tan potting material. When you get your stator in your kit, it is not all that uncommon to occasionally see a few minor cracks in this potting, which happens when the potting cools after they apply it. The cracks are not indicative of any kind of problem, um, so don't worry about a few little cracks in that tan potting material. That is absolutely no concern at all. What we do want to check before we go any further is we want to check how the, uh, the actual stator ring itself fits on the backing plate. Now there's four little mounting lugs that you can see on the stator ring here and those have to fit down over top of this inner raised uh, boss in the uh, backing plate. We want to make sure that that will seat down in there properly uh, and not get hung up. Every once in a while you'll find one of these stator rings where these little lugs are a little bit too long uh, and if they don't seat right down in there the way you want you can just take a file and just lightly file those off until they do seat uh, so that the stator seats flat against the uh, backing plate. So first thing you do is check that fit there to make sure that those lugs are fitting okay. The stator is actually uh, put on this backing plate which also mounts your pickups for the secondary ignition. Now this comes already assembled for you when you get your Aero-V kit so it'll look just like this. The only thing you have to do is pass this wire from the stator ring through the hole in the backing plate so that your stator will lay on there the way it's supposed to. Now there's four little mounting screws that go on the stator to hold it onto the backing plate which we're going to install right now. Now we have our stator properly mounted on the backing plate with the four attaching screws. Um, you'll look at the edge of the stator and if you can just see it there very faintly you'll see some little square blocks that are kind of prominent in the potting material. Those are the actual ends of the um, blocks where the windings are. And what we want to do is we're going to test fit the alternator onto the engine. We're going to make sure that those blocks aren't rubbing against the uh, magnet ring uh, we don't want the magnet ring to make contact, so we're going to take our stator and we're going to take a black marker and we're just going to color the end of those blocks uh, just with some, some um, marker material here. After we color them, we're going to temporarily install the stator into the engine and we're going to rotate the engine and make sure that none of this marker gets worn off. And if it does, we can actually take a, a fine file and file these down just a little bit so that they don't actually contact the magnet ring. Uh, as you file them, if you do end up filing them, you'll actually file off some of that potting material. And again, that's not an issue. Uh, you can file that off of there. Uh, it's more important to make sure that the stator is not contacting the magnet ring. So we've marked our... our uh, little squares there where the ends of those uh, windings are and we're going to install that temporarily into the back of the engine here. Now this is important to know that these magnets in this magnet ring are very strong so when you get this lined up and drop it in there it's going to 
basically try to pull it out of your hand and it's going to suck it in there with the magnetic force of those magnets. So make sure that you don't pinch your fingers on the edge here uh, as you're doing that. So we just want to line it up. We'll pass it past the uh, primary ignition trigger there and you can see it snaps right in. We're not too worried about alignment right now as far as the uh, ignition system goes because we're going to remove this and check it. So right now we just, we've got it in place and we're going to rotate the engine and make sure, and you can see that this one is dragging a little bit. Now some of that cogging is just the magnets uh, pulling against those windings. So they go magnet by magnet, you can feel the cogging action of those magnets grabbing a hold of those windings and pulling them in. So we rotate the engine and then the secret is going to be to pull this out and after we pull this out we'll check the end of those uh, markings where we put on there to see if they uh, have uh, worn off or not. Now that we've overcome the magnetism and pulled the stator uh, back out of the uh, accessory plate we can look around the edge of our stator and look at all of our marks and you can see that all of the marks are still intact so we know we don't have any physical contact between the stator and the magnet ring and that's exactly what we want. You don't want this to be rubbing on the magnet ring. So as long as there's no physical contact, you're all set. You can reinstall the uh, stator and the ignition plate back onto your accessory plate uh, in accordance with your manual instructions. Find the proper fasteners out of your engine kit and you can close that up and you're all set.